Hi, welcome to the Melon Gardener channel. As you can see, we have picked all our peaches. They are now harvested. The ones that were ready and uh, ready to ripen up, we have harvested. So no more peaches on the tree. This is a quick garden update um, that I'm doing today. Uh, I'm going to be planting some cabbages as well and sowing some seeds for um, sowing some radishes and so forth for the fall season. This is the trellis here. I gotta harvest that, that cucumber today probably soon. Got a couple there coming out. And um, just a little garden update. Um, so this is how the garden is looking so far. I'm about to do a harvest of my basil. I'm gonna harvest that today. They're looking pretty good. I'm about to give it uh, I'm about to give it another um, dose of um, kelp fluid. Um, kelp fluid solution to mix with that. This is the other uh, more basils here. I'm gonna have a harvest today. Little zucchini plant there. There's my my shallots, but they're they're not doing they're doing okay. Not 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 great. Uh, this is the uh, beef steak, and uh, we've got a lot a lot of um, tomatoes that are coming out. They are starting to ripen up again. I think by next week I should be having a lot of uh, tomatoes. So I've been harvesting quite a bit of that. And these are the uh, bush blue lake beans. And they seem to be giving me some pretty good harvest here. I've been harvesting quite a bit from these. And uh, cucumbers. These are the Boston pickling cucumbers. And I gotta do another harvest of these because you don't wanna let them go too soon. Or oh, they'll yellow up like this, which I'm letting these go to seed. I've got two of these that are like this now, so I'm letting them go, and I'm gonna just collect the seeds, and so I can sow them next season. But I got a lot of those coming out, and I'm gonna have to harvest to make some, uh, make some maybe some pickling out of these. And these are the uh, the pepper beds. This is the uh, Marconi uh, pepperoni Marconi Russos. And um, we've got quite a lot of these that are coming. They're starting to get pretty big in here. They're kind of hidden out. Yeah, this one right here. Got a lot of them there. This is the uh, green pepper and Italian sweet pepper. And uh, they're doing pretty good. I've got some green peppers already here that are probably going to be able to harvest soon. I've got uh, more uh, Italian sweet peppers that are coming in here. They haven't ripened up yet. Usually when they turn nice bright red colors when I usually pick them. Got some more peppers there. And this is my um, Romano. And I'll put the insect bags on this. Starting to ripen up a little bit. They're doing pretty good. Harvested a bunch of them yesterday. And um, they, were, they were ripening up. And the zucchini didn't do quite uh, so well. I wound, up, I wound up pulling these out. They're looking kind of dried up and maybe the uh, insects got to it and it didn't quite do so well. So I'm going to plant some um, radishes and maybe some Kentucky pole beans. I, mean, I might have enough time for those to, to do something this season before it's all over with. And this is the uh, Suzuku cabbage that I, I, uh, I seed, uh, grew from seed. Had, um, in the house and planted them out maybe a, uh, about a week ago and they're called uh, Suzuku cabbage it's a Chinese cabbage that I'm gonna try out uh, first year to try cabbages out this year so but these are the Suzuku cabbage and I planted one early uh, quick um, quick start cabbage there that I had from the seedling which I'm gonna sow three more today in this bed I'm going to weed out today and plant some more spinach. 
probably do that today. And uh, we got our tomatillos, and you can see all the tomatillos I'm going to be collecting soon. They've all fallen down here, and I've got to start collecting these out. Start collecting and snacking on those. This is the jalapenos, and they're doing pretty good. Got quite a lot of uh, jalapenos that I'm probably going to have to harvest soon. So. I don't know, I'll probably make a video of that maybe. But uh, they're doing pretty good. I got some more in the fridge too that I gotta probably uh, uh, start to process and can. Another tomatillo plant. And this is my uh, big boy tomato. And uh, we've got quite a bit of tomatoes there. They're all starting to ripen up now. I've kind of put insect bags on them too. This one's going to be ready to go soon. Another thing, maybe another two days and they'll be worth picking this one. We've got some more here too. Some more tomatoes here that are ripening up. These are looking really good. And I've trained the tomatoes to go up the trellis as well. So it's climbing up the trellis with the uh, cucumbers. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, but right now we're going to do some, uh, I'm going to sow some, um, I started these from seed and um, I'm going to be planting some quick start cabbage and uh, see if that uh, goes well for me this time around. I'm going to put some, some new arches on there and I'm going to have some, some uh, cloth, some uh, insect protection uh, for them also. So let's get that started right now. These are the seedlings here. Got three of them. Three seedlings. And I've already acclimated them to the weather. So we're going to plant these out. The soil is very dry, so I'm going to have to water it down. Let's give it some. Blood meal here. Just a little bit of bone meal. I'm going to cover these up today. Hoping that uh, I'm gonna cover up these a little better this time, and they're, and they're getting more sun than the other, the other side. This side gets full sun, so I think they'll do a lot better here.
right, now I'm going to do some uh, some radishes. Take a look at these. I'm going to do some some uh, bluebell um, bell cherry bell radishes in this bed here, and uh, I'm going to see if they do better. We get full sun here. They get about full sun, so they should do a little better. We're gonna try these out. Yeah, they do. Plant. Uh, these are, these seeds are about a year old or so. I'm hoping that uh, they germinate okay. And uh, a little home, little hornworm, little hornworm there. Got to look out for those. Alright, now I'm going to try to see if I can plant, uh, I'm going to plant some um, radishes and pole beans on this side right here. So let's take a look at this. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to do some, some pole beans, Kentucky pole bean. And uh, also the cherry bill that is here as well. So I'm gonna do pole beans in the back, and then the rest will be radishes. Let's try that out. These are the cherry bells. I'm going to put the French breakfast here as well. Let's do that. Cherry Bell, this row. In the next row, I'm going to put French breakfast. Use all of them up. Use all of them. Oh, it's seeds.
All right. Do some pole beans. Let's see if these uh, did these germinate. Let me give it a shot. I don't know if it's a little too late to plant them, but I'm gonna see if they come up. Pole beans. And this side of the garden gets a lot of gets sun. It's uh, not full sun, but it gets enough maybe for you to, to germinate and give me, give me a good crop of uh, radishes. They're not really in a shaded area. The sun really hits pretty good here. So. All right. Let's go and water the uh, cabbages. Have it with me. <laughs> Hold this camera here. That's where we are. All these cabbages here. I'm going to be covering this up today. Uh, and hopefully put some some, uh, some bug getter to ward off the snails and um, see if these do well here. They get a lot more sun here so they should do better here. I just got to put that netting in there and protect it very well because those butterflies, they, I mean, they can get inside somehow, they just get in so I'm going to try and make it a little more secure. All right, so that's the cabbages, and um, that's uh, that's the whole video for today. I'm um, uh, going to be doing a little bit of harvesting today, and um, hopefully these uh, cabbages uh, can make it to, to harvest. And uh, th these are the basils I forgot to mention, the basils that I, that I did from cuttings. I don't know if you remember the last video, if you saw it, how small they were, look how quickly they've grown. So I'm going to give it another, I'm going to give them a dose of a kelp solution with the others and then I'm going to harvest. I'm going to harvest first and give it that solution and then um, uh, I'm going to plant more basil, do some more cuttings to see how far I can plant these things if you keep some in the house. Um, so thank you for watching and um, I hope your gardens are doing well. I hope you're, you're enjoying yourself out there and be safe, stay hydrated and uh, I'll see you guys next time on uh, Maryland Gardner channel. If, uh, if you are, uh, thank you for watching my video. If you are a subscriber and, and if you're a new viewer, um, um, subscribe and um, hit the bell so that we can notify you when other videos are going to be coming up. You know, that so we can keep uh, keep track of how the progress is going. And um, so we'll see you soon and take care. Bye.